Welcome to our lesson about clean water. My name is Lydia. My name is Josie. My name is Ainsley. My name is Jackie. And my name is Nicole. Today, we are going to talk about science, the importance of clean water, and how to know when you and your child do not get enough clean water. When we have a question about our bodies or the world around us, we can gather information through observations or studies. This can help us understand why things happen and teach us how to solve problems. This is what scientists and doctors do to make sure we stay healthy. Science has told us that drinking clean water is important for all ages. Water has many important roles in the body. Water is used in most parts of our bodies and is needed for our body to work well. It helps with the breakdown of food for energy and the removal of waste. Water is also important for brain function and in keeping us cool. Having clean water is very important. It keeps your body working and healthy. Unsafe water can contain many bad substances they can make you very sick. Drinking unsafe water can cause an upset stomach and diarrhea. Unsafe water can be caused by pollution. Pollution can come from trash that contains metal and chemicals, old food, and human or animal feces. There are different ways to avoid unsafe water. If your water comes from a river, collect upstream of possible pollution. If you collect rainwater, make sure to cover it and clean the gutters. Signs of dehydration include feeling thirsty or dizzy, having a dry mouth, or dark urine. This can be from having diarrhea or sweating a lot, but it will usually be from a lack of water. More symptoms like confusion, fainting, and not being able to urinate can occur too. If we do not urinate, we can get even more sick. Everyone can get dehydrated, but babies and older people are more likely to have these symptoms. If you are outside in the sun all day, it is also easier to experience these symptoms. In order to avoid these signs, you should drink water and electrolytes throughout the day. The recommended amount is eight glasses of water per, per day. The signs of not getting enough water in children are like those in adults. There are some key things to look for when a child could need more fluids. Symptoms include low energy and alertness, lack of tears and urine, and sunken eyes. If not treated, children will become lightheaded and have a faster heartbeat. There are three different levels of children not drinking enough water, mild, moderate, and severe. Mild lack of water usually causes a dry mouth and increased thirst, as well as a less need to urinate frequently. Moderate lack of water causes the child to be less willing to play, as well as having a dry mouth and urinate less frequently. A major difference between mild and moderate lack of water is that a child will feel lightheaded and have a faster heartbeat with mo moderate lack of water. Severe lack of water occurs when the child becomes sleepy and they have no tears when they cry. This is when they must go to the doctor for treatment. In some instances, a blue color may develop to their skin and breathe rapidly. In other instances, the salt that is in their blood will rise or fall abnormally, causing the symptoms of dehydration to worsen as well as make the child more sleepy. There have been severe cases where the child can have seizures, fall into a coma, or suffer brain damage and die. The treatment when these symptoms are present is simple. Drink more fluids. For babies, breast milk is the best option. If the baby is not breastfeeding, then fluids should be given by the doctor. In children older than one year old, Taking small sips of clear broths or soups, juice mixed with water, or even popsicles can help. Do not give your child plain water, undiluted juice, or sports drinks, since plain water contains too little salt and juice and sports drinks have lots of sugar, which can upset their stomachs. By drinking enough clean water, you and your family can stay happy and healthy